I was uh, I was just in the green room there yeah. waiting to come on, oh. and I got a uh, residual check come through. Oh yeah, huge. Uh, just came through on an email here it's for an episode of the bill that I did a few years oh, ago. Yeah. Uh, series 14, production episode 412. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've just been paid £1.31. So. That is huge. £1.41. 31. 31. 30, oh, sorry. Uh, 31. Oh, okay. but, uh, yeah, I, I, but I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty flush. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. About a quarter of a coffee. Great start to the morning. Yeah, isn't great, it? great start morning, to the day. Yeah. <laughs> great start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. Because I know you're you're in the West End at the moment. Yeah. You're, you're doing your, your play. Yeah. And this must have been a... Not a great yes that you had to say yes to. An early morning start after a night treading the boards. Do you know what? I managed to blag a little hotel stay yeah. in town. Who pays for that? Us or you? Or your, I don't know. You don't know. I don't ask any <laughs> questions. All I know is that there was a hotel, there was a stay at the Hoxton. Oh, yeah. Lovely nice. hotel. Yeah, Never been there nice. before. Yeah. Really enjoyed myself. Oh, yeah. lovely. Put, put a little hydrating face mask on last Did night. Did you? Sat in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe me luck. It was great. Because I always want to know, like, theatre life. Um, James is starting in 222. Uh, a ghost right. story. Yeah, yeah, we should um, mention that. Yeah, yeah, we should mention that. That's, <laughs> that's it, not face mask. Because I always think it's such a, 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 a terrifying thing to do, do yeah. theatre, but then also quite a, a, a lavish sort of interest in lifestyle of, like, you know, having the day off and working at night and stuff. I suppose so, but it is more terrifying. Yeah, it is I'm terrifying. I'm more focused on the terrifying bit. Yeah. Um, what's great, though, is that because, obviously, the reason it's terrifying is that there's a load of people there yes. watching you, or you hope there's a load of people there anyway. Um, but the fact that they're there and they're, you see their reactions and you hear their reactions uh-huh. and stuff, that's the payoff. That's yeah. why you go through all that terrifying stuff. Um, do you still get the terror? Because you did. Yeah. When did you do this? Twenty nineteen? Is it something? You did it once before. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Christmas twenty twenty. Something like. Okay. Into twenty twenty one. I think. So this is the return. The return. Twenty twenty two. I can't remember. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he's done it before and he's back. How was it returning? Because obviously, you know, you you had the the side of thinking, well, I've done it before, I can do it again. But also, you're like, oh, I've experienced those feelings before, and they're going to come back. Well, that was it. So <laughs> I was very much. I've done it before. It'll all still be up there, surely. Is it? Um, managed to find my original script that mm-hmm. I worked from a, a couple of years ago. Opened it up. I was like, right, what's the first line? Closed my eyes. I was like, can't remember it. Looked down. I was like, right, that's the first line. Uh- no, can't remember the second line. I looked down and I was like, don't remember any of it. Don't remember Brilliant. It. Don't remember it. Um, so, yeah, just terrifying is definitely the word. It's definitely yeah. terrifying. I always do think when I go and see a live show, like, I feel nervous for anyone. Yeah. In it. Like, professional <laughs> yeah. actors like yourself, I'm like, because you could say anything. Yeah, anything could go wrong. Anything. You know, you, you could, could fall say over, your mad. trousers fall down. It's yeah. the, that is the fear. Yeah, that is the fear. And do you still get the fear now it started? You yeah. still get that? Every, yeah. Does it get we, better um, as the run goes on? We did our first preview uh, last Saturday mm-hmm. and um, my eyes went bloodshot from all the dry heaving I was doing. <laughs> what? Sorry to laugh. I know. What, what, but I, yeah, yeah, no, I do, um, I do get... I think I get more nervous than, than your average person right. would as well. Um, don't know why I do it. Don't know why I put myself through it. <laughs> <laughs> if you know why, does it? Uh, get in touch. <laughs> but there is some like, yum-yuck about it, like the fear, and then, then you get, like, I imagine you feel a thrill when That's it's gone it. well. When you, when you hear a whole, that whole audience, yeah. you know, gasp or yeah. scream or laugh that's when it becomes it's worth, worth it. it yeah and then how do you feel after obviously quite relaxed because you're so face relieved. Last time. <laughs> so relieved it's instant relief you just go i got through it yeah i managed to get through thank it. god yeah don't have to worry about that for like 12 more hours exactly and then you do it and you go why am i doing this why am i still doing, <laughs> this? <laughs> I'm doing this again <laughs> interesting that you say you can see of, uh, the faces of the audience because i always worry like can they st- See yours, because I think with the lights, but you can fully see the face of the audience. I guess it depends. I can see them, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I try not to. Sometimes there is an awkward moment where mm. you do make a bit of eye contact. Yeah. And obviously I can't, you know, can't, can't say how are you yeah, or anything you're like that. Right. Yeah, you're right. You've got to stare through them. And more about that. You feel f- a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, just staring them out. Like that. You, just, you could catch their eye and then you say, oh, God, we can't have a conversation. Well, we can't got... chat, no. <laughs> Do you ever see friends and family in the audience and like, actually recognise them? Um, that, no, those... thank God. Yeah, that'd be yeah I've, had a, I've had a couple of pals and, you know, my wife and mm-hmm. uh, come and see it and I think that would, I'd freeze. Yeah, 
you don't. It would see really him. take you out of the situation. Yeah, take you out it? of the art. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to see him. We went to a play, <laughs> me and my friend, years ago, um, and our, our, we went to see a friend in the play, and you know we didn't know what to expect. And as the like curtain raised up like that, we were qu- quite like near the front. As right. it raised up, we were at the front on the left, like right in the left. And as it raised up, she was kneeling at the start of the play, like looking right at us, Brilliant. and she had to just be quiet for like good ten minutes, which oh, feels Christ. like hours. In a play. Yeah. So there's a bit of action going on over here. And she was sat on her knees like that, looking right at us. And afterwards, she was fuming. She said, all I saw was your big head. Thanks. That was it. I was uh, like, well, I can't... Uh, thanks I, for coming. I, I thought it was awkward as well. I was there uh, supporting you. Yeah. She was like, it was more awkward for me because I had to just look at you and not laugh. For Ten minutes. So, yeah. If you do go and see it, don't look at James directly. No, you can look you at can me. Look it's at fine. Him. You can look at him. You can look at him. Yeah. Um, how do you find the the line learning element? Like you said, when you looked at it, you were like, I don't remember this. How do you how do you do that? Because I think that's the most important bit. You have gotta learn. Them. I think that you <laughs> I think can't wing it. You can't. You yeah, really you can't. Yeah, you throw the other actors if you do. And I, I have done most. You know, ninety nine percent of my career has been television and, and and film. Where if you say something wrong, you just mm-hmm. do it again mm-hmm. straight away. So I've always been very relaxed about line learning. You know, I'll read it just you know five minutes before we do the scene. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this you can't do that you have to no. learn the whole thing and um i constantly drilling myself you know still yeah yeah it's my little ritual so okay. before each act i'll um see and i time myself i say every single line that i've got uh-huh. and i rattle it out um and i try and get a little bit faster every day yeah. while i'm doing it so just so i know it i know it so quickly yeah. that i'm not looking for the lines they are there in my brain, oh. tattooed. Ready. In, yeah. And then it's nice to forget them, I guess, afterwards. Like, I don't, you know, you, you said, like, the first time you did it, you went back and then you were like, I can't remember them. But I guess it's a part of your brain which must be like, I don't need that anymore. Absolutely, yeah. I, th- I have a theory that you've only got so much space. It's like yeah. a computer, your brain. It's like mm. a hard drive. Yeah. And as soon as I finish a project, I go, right, get rid of that. Delete. Get out of there. Get out of there. What about the rest of the cast? Because the 222 Ghost Story cast, you've got a mega cast. You're in it with Donna Rare, Joe McFadden, Stacey Dooley. Yeah. That sounds like a nice yeah, nice little gang. Really good. Yeah, really good little crew we got. Um, we have a lot of fun. There's uh-huh. a lot of laughs. Um, and, I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying like just hanging out with them and stuff. It, it, we do have a giggle, yeah. Do you have that sort of thespian lifestyle afterwards where you all go for like a midnight martini and a cigar? We've not got to that point no. yet i think just we're all, started i think we're all still very much yep. let's get to bed let's really um face mask be, <laughs> yeah, exactly face mask let's really be prepped for the next day yes i think once we're um once we're really in the swing of things you know i, I mean there's a great pub across the road from the gilgood theater mm-hmm. i think it's called the white heart okay it's what i'd call a proper booth proper it's a proper pub now yeah it's great i absolutely love it the beer's the beer's brilliant um so I'm sure we'll be over there a couple. I'll, I'll be dragging them over. Yeah, there. drag them over. Yeah. yeah. And what time are you ending? You're ending just before last orders, I imagine. Like it's perfect sort of finish. Well, Get off stage. It's um. We're on. We finish about. I reckon I'm outside by a quarter to ten. Oh, it's lots really of time. not bad at all whatsoever. A good hour in the white yeah. heart. Easy. Yeah. Easy. And the most pressing question, of course, uh, that everyone will want to know: What time do you have your tea when you're in the theatre? So um, it's prime tea time. That. Yeah. So. I'll be having probably like a like a big lunch. Right. That will be my meal for the whole day. Right. Because I'll, I'll probably eat around one o'clock. Uh huh. So then I'm not all, which I have done, all stuffed and sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Before you go, you don't on. have like a jacket potato, <laughs> yeah, do you? Exactly. Before you go you, on, like, oh, yeah, shut up, Dooley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so eat around one o'clock and then you you know you've got enough time to sort of right. digest you're and, powered through yeah you're powered through there and um, now the whole cast are you know mega people joe mcfadden stacy dooley donna Rae, yourself there's been an amazing array of people yeah. in 222 it's like almost like uh you know celebrity national service like yeah, everyone's think, done it i think they like to pick make interesting choices yeah. people that you wouldn't expect um, who they know would do a good job at yeah, it as yeah. well. Um, you know, Cheryl and people like Sherry. that, like getting involved and yeah. stuff. And I just think that just makes the whole thing more interesting. Yeah. I, 
You've had Cheryl. You've had Lily Allen. I yeah. saw it with Jamie Winston when that, ja- yeah. Jamie and uh, Frankie Bridge were in it. Yeah, brilliant. And who would you like to see in it next? Who do you like? They should do. Do you know two twenty two? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's um. I, luckily enough, it's it's an actor's dream because mm. the, the play is really good, mm. and the dialogue and script is so great. That you almost feel like you don't really have to work that much. You know, any anyone could jump in and, and give it a go. <laughs> like honestly, well, maybe I'll give it a go. Do it. You, yeah. Do you know what they they will be calling you? Now? They will call me now that you said that. Felton's done it. Tom Felton. He's oh, a mate yeah. of mine. He co- he would come and see me. He saw me like he would come and see me sort of twice a week. He was hanging around the theatre uh-huh. so much, and then obviously going for a pint afterwards with him. Um, he ended up doing it. <laughs> <laughs> My man, every I night. think if you just mention it <laughs> yeah. or go and see it, <laughs> or go in the White Hart, Laura Whitmore. I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm mates with her fella Ian, mm-hmm. and um, so I said I'll come along, come and see it. She was in it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they will be asking we'll get you. In they well, will maybe, be asking. Yeah, maybe because you're on what? You definitely so, should, by the way. Yeah, and you're on it until the fourth of August. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I'll squeeze it in. Got this in the mornings. Yeah. Play at night. You could absolutely do it. Yeah. White art till eleven. Yes. Out of there. Few hours sleep. Back yeah. on air. <laughs> sorted with that. Absolutely sorted. Yeah. Now I read today, and we talked about this on the on the radio earlier on. It's been so hugely successful. The play. It's been seen by over 690,000 people. Right. What's it's a that? lot of people, isn't it? Averaging about 50 quid a ticket. That's, that's, that's um, Someone's that's making money. Serious. That is serious, <laughs> serious cash. It's bigger than a bill check. That's, that's more than £1.31, isn't it? It's is more than £1.31. <laughs> what do you think it is that people love about this? Because it's, it's, it's constantly on, it's travelled the world. And... I, think it, I think it transcends the whole play thing. Right. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really personally into plays. Right. I find them a bit boring after time. And also, like, GCSE drama ruins plays. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you get get dragged off to some obscure Shakespeare play at the local theatre. You have to sit there for four hours and you think, I'm never going to see another Mm -hmm. play again. Um, This play just genuinely is so much fun. It's so entertaining. Mm -hmm. The story's great. And it, it, it's brilliant watching people. Um, you, it's very early on. I'm not giving anything away by saying very early on you start to think something's going something's on here. Going on. And you can see them spend the whole play trying to work mm-hmm. out what is going on. And nobody works it out until at the very end. And then you also see that reaction as well. And we also encourage like a loud audience. We don't want sort of stuffy people. Yeah, you don't want We don't stuffy. want respect no. <laughs> or anything like that. No, we want we want to hear you screaming and laughing and gasping and oh my god, like we love mm-hmm. we love hearing the audience. Yeah. It felt rowdy like when I went to see it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if that was just Jamie Winston. Might be, yeah. It, fe- but, it felt lively. I don't know what you mean, because sometimes the theatre can be a bit like, oh, it's a bit I don't sort of hard. I've got to be you know, quiet. Oh, we've got to, yeah, we've yeah, got, yeah. They're acting. We need yeah. to let them do what they yeah. do. No, we love it. Have a few drinks before you come. <laughs> at, have a couple of gins at half-time as well. At, like, the second half as well. Oh, yeah, you can tell people juicy. have had a, had a couple of wines or something, <laughs> and they're really getting into it. It's so much fun. Yeah, it is a fun one. And the twist... I won't ruin it, but the twist is... It's a good one. It's a good one. It is a good one. A chilling one. It is. Um, do go see 222, A Ghost Story, now playing at London's... How do I say this? Gilgood. The Gilgood Theatre. Yeah. Gilgood. I think it was John Gilgood. I might be wrong. I'm supposed to know stuff like that it, as an I'm actor. I'm being told in my ear, it was. Yeah. John Gilgood. Uh, Gilgood Theatre. Until the 4th of August, you can get tickets now via 222, A Ghost Story, dot com and yeah. then go see it have a night out go see James you will enjoy it have a drink after win 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 yeah we'll be at the White Horse afters come and have a drink with us can you tell me w- what it means when it says it's in preview but it's, yeah. uh, but it's on yeah see this is, conf- is this is confusing to me as well yeah. so you do your preview shows so th- there really is no way of knowing what works and how to do it without there being an audience. Yes. So you, you, you have to do it, basically, to find out what works. So at the moment, we are in previews. So we're still in the theatre in the afternoons. We're still sort of rehearsing mm-hmm. and working on it whilst also doing it at night. And the director is always very much like, hey, guys, it's all fun. This is just previews. You know, if you make a mistake, don't worry. You know, we're working it out. And I'm like, no, we're not working it out. There's people there. <laughs> Yeah, there's an audience. I'm not that chilled out and relaxed about it, to be honest with you. I want it to, you know, so 
it doesn't matter if it's a preview, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah. The people that are on the stage are taking it very, very seriously. <laughs> They're not trying <laughs> things out. Yeah. They're doing what they think the Yeah, the, you're not like turning up in your pyjamas, being yeah, exactly. like, with a piece of paper like, so what do I say here? Exactly. One second. It's, yeah. it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. So previews mean nothing to me, mean personally. Mean nothing. Good, he's it's a professional. The, it's the play, you, you know, we're doing it. It's on, it's yeah. happening. On till the 4th of August, do go see it. I've seen it, it's brilliant. Not seen it with you, but I'll come and see come it. On. Yeah, come along. I'll sort it out. Please, okay. I'd love it. to have you come. I'll come along, see it, and then be in it. Maybe. You definitely <laughs> will. Be. I'm not even joking. You are going to get a phone call. Your management is going to get a phone what, do, what, Is Nick interested? Yeah, That's, why not? Yeah. If they do, do ask you, do do it. Who do you think I should be? Um, well, it's between Sam mm-hmm. and Ben. Mm-hmm. You could do both. Yeah. You could do either. Maybe I'd do them all. You like could. a one woman. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> one woman play. <laughs> what would it be a one woman? I don't know. One man. <laughs> Just one woman rolled off yeah. the tongue naturally for me. Maybe I'll change it up. Um, James Buckley, thank you for coming in to see us. Thanks for having um, me. Really appreciate you coming in after doing your preview play yeah. last night. <laughs> um, the real thing is on in the West End. Do go see it. James, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.